the Mighty West Tigers, the legends of Leichhardt, the team that won the 05 Grand Final. 17 years on, 17 teams in the league. They are due in 2023. Welcome for our preview of the West Tigers this year, where I'm quite high on the Tigers, and this is Miles, who you probably won't like as much. No, oh, just because the Tigers can't change their stripes, mate. Oh, <laughs> mate, let's jump right into it. No team has signed better than the Tigers this offseason. Mm-hmm. You now have the best edge back row pairing in the competition. John Bateman, who I f- love, and Isaiah Papali from Parramatta. Wow. Yeah, I, I I kind of disagree with you on that. Uh, they've also signed Coruscant as well, and Clemmer definitely helps. Uh, my question kind of relies around you know the coaching. Uh, for me, is it more of a PR stunt? You know, to sign Tim Sheens in to give the West Tigers fans a bit of hope. Benji Marshall is going to be the coach in three years after having zero coaching experience. One thing I will say for Tigers fans is I wouldn't get too excited because. You know, while Tim Sheens provided the Tigers a premiership in 05, and it was, you know, it was good. You know, it was all great. They played some really good attacking footy. He has a 49% win rate as a Tigers coach over the 2003 to 2012 seasons. And they sacked him after making the finals uh, for, like, the first three or four years of that, after that final in 2005 and then they sacked him the first year that they didn't make the finals so where's the loyalty you know is all i've got to ask tim sheen's like while while being a great you know little symbol for the game he's also the second oldest coach in the league right now and who's the oldest wade bennett is he rated lowly? Do you know that Tim Sheens is, is only... Is he rated lowly? Is he rated lowly? Wade, ben- Wayne Bennett. Wayne Bennett, because he's got a better coaching record than Tim Sheens. Wayne Bennett's the GOAT. Tim Sheens might be number two this would year. You, would you be surprised to tell you if I told you that Tim Sheens is a year younger than Wayne Bennett? One year. I mean, I'm thinking of them in my head now, and they look about the same age. Well, Wayne Bennett's 73, and Tim Sheens is 72. You're, you're digging into semantics here. Uh, a a lot bit. here. You're writing into semantics. I'm just going to keep it simple here. Forward packs win competitions. Mm-hmm. You look at Penrith, you look at Parramatta last year in the grand final. Mm-hmm. Excellent forward packs. Let me go through the Tigers forward pack for you. You got David Clemmer, you got Stefano Itokamano, Isaiah Papali, John Bateman, and then Offa Hangawi at lock, who had his best season ever last year. That is a great forward pack with Coruscant at hooker. I'm just I'm looking at that pack and like I'm gonna go into Itokamano in a bit, but the signings are excellent. Dave Clemmer a couple of years ago, was the only forward in the top five for post-contact meters. Atoka Manu came onto the scene, I think he scored six tries in 21 games in his first year. Mm -hmm. Last year was a bit dodgy, but yeah, he's a young player. Uh, He's he's a young prop. It's a tough position to jump into. And Offhand Gowie had a career year last year. You know, the edge back rows have already talked about. Coruscant is Coruscant. Uh, You're probably not getting 80 minutes out of him, but you're getting a very good 60 minutes. They're just going to lay such a good foundation with that pack. Uh, let's isolate it here and you know dig right in. Where do you rank that forward pack in the NRL this year? Putting you on the spot a bit there. No, you are. Um, Give me a rough... Is it top half, bottom half? No, it's definitely top eight worthy of being, you know, uh, as far as, you know, the quality of forwards that are in there. One thing I will say, though, is that Coruscant, uh, when he was at Manly, do you see him being a big prominent part of that Manly team, or was Manasi Finu really making inroads at that point in time, and they shifted Chorus out to the bench? I know he's been playing at Penrith for the last couple of years. I would argue he's had it easy, um, but he's definitely been a bit more of a creative player in the last couple of years. He was easily the best hooker in the league last year as well. I'm not trying to knock him in any way, mm. but to transition to a club that's been in the doldrums for a little bit, they seem to love playing Adam Dewey out of position as well. And we know that we're big fans of Adam Dewey playing six. If you're the Tigers and you're listening to me right now, do not play Adam Dewey at centre. It could be the worst decision that you make to start this season. Would you agree with me on that? Yeah, you're spot on. You're spot on. It's ridiculous. Brooks and Dewey, while they're not the perfect halves pairing, are a great attacking halves pairing. Mm -hmm. And Dane Laurie is a great attacking fullback. 
the notion that Charlie Steens warrants this reshuffling of the entire roster is ridiculous to me. Oh, Saying that everything I'm hearing is that Steens will be the fullback. I know. That's that's why I'm so kind of angry right now. Because Charlie Steens is not a first grade player. Uh, I, I'm going to be very harsh on that, but Staines just does not and has not shown that he can play 80 minutes, whether it be playing wing or fullback. You know, he's had some glints, and I mean like tiny, tiny glints of like, oh, maybe he might be a really good player. But other than that, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I really like Laurie as well. Laurie's like, great. Laurie's not, he's not a top 10 fullback because just fullback is such a tough position to, to rank well in and everyone moves there if they're talented but Laurie's excellent he goes hard he, he cracks through the line like he's he plays well for his size he's a bit undersized but he's awesome I'd keep him there I think Dewey could be a Dally M contender with a year at six especially with this forward pack and Papali and Bateman on his edges I think it's really simple I think it's really simple you know you got Chorus out there as well it's a good spine you don't need to mess around with it I get that Steens has come from Penrith and you know everyone from Penrith is excellent but like I wouldn't even have him in the team to be honest I don't think he's my winger yeah uh, would, would you have found it more interesting if they had kept Justin Jackson Hastings and shifted on Luke Brooks to Newcastle they I reckon they would have wanted to do that if they could have done that Really? But, yeah, I think they wanted to do that. Um, I don't think they could do it. So now they're stuck with a halfback that they don't want to play halfback. But Hastings he's being... is just on such a small contract. Yeah, so it was so much easier. It's easier. Brooks is yeah. so expensive. Million. Um, $1.2 million Brooks this year. Is durable as well. Hastings oh, yeah. has been a little dodgy with injuries. Like, I don't know. I just think this this is the year where it's it's... We keep saying this about Brooks. Everyone says this about Brooks every year, but this is the year where it's this a great... This is the year. It's a great <laughs> forward pack. you got Dewey as your six. You've got some explosive outside backs. You know, not volume, but the centres are excellent, like, in terms of running the ball, not tackling. Uh, but you, you've got everything set up for Brooks to have a great offensive season. Yeah. If he doesn't do it this year, it's done. Oh. It's yeah. finished. Like, it, but if he does... I already think it's done because they're so aggressively going after Mitchell Moses... And they re-signed Dewey. How could they get Moses back after what he did to them? Oh, yeah, like right. When he wanted to move early, yeah, that's how they got a Turkmani, wasn't it? But exactly. Uh, yeah. The way he played in that last month of footy. Anyway, look, like, well, we could go on for it. We're gonna have a bit of Tigers content in the preseason because I think yeah. they're one of the. They're most an exciting, exciting team. To, don't get me wrong. Yeah. There's a lot of hype around the Tigers this year, but I just don't see them making the eight. All right. Really? Yeah. Really? No. I, I just don't think. Contending. That, well, my my. It goes back to my original point about mm. Tim Sheens. If he can't win more than half of his games, that leaves you around the 13 to 12 win spot, wow. and you're getting 24 points. Two Wait, let me from throw some buys. teams at you then. Are they better than the Seagulls? Uh, if Tom Trebojevic plays, no. Are they better than the Dogs? No. Are they better than the Broncos? No. Are they better than the Dragons? Yes. Titans? They're better than the Dragons and Titans and the Warriors. Okay. Dolphins? And the Dolphins. Okay. All right, so you don't really have them in that competition for that spot at all. No. Rab Rabbitohs? I just think the club culture is too diseased at the moment. Uh, okay. It's, it, it, and you watch the Tales of Tiger Town, you can see it. Yeah, it's very prominent in the way they go about things. And Tim Sheens is going to have to change a lot, you know, to get the, the Tigers up and at them because the last couple of years have been dreadful to watch. Yep. And when was their last finals appearance, Miles? 2011. And their next one, 2023. Tigers are making the finals this year. That wow. streak is being broken. No one can miss it 12 years in a row. <laughs> no one can. The, the Tigers are playing finals footy this year. I think they sneak into eighth spot. I think the Broncos are the other team that cracked the eight from the, the bottom group. And I think it's a year to look forward to. Anyway, Tigers fan, let us know in the comments uh, whether you think you're going to make the eight. And uh, what do you think this pack is the best in the game? We'll see you next time.